So we're going to go through this replay here today. I am in the Z23 and I'm in ranked. I am in the Silver League and it has dropped me into this game with three battleships, one cruiser and three destroyers. On their team they've got a Palmer and a Lepanto in Alabama with a Hipper for their cruiser and then a Z46 Kitakaze and a Cossack. Um, out of all those ships, the Palmer and the Hipper both kind of concern me if I want to play in A and B. They can both come up uh, islands and with their long range Hydra they can definitely spot me and make things miserable for me. Among the DDs, um, all three of them are kind of concerning to me in the Z-23. Obviously the Z-46 is just a flat out better German destroyer. The Kedakazi with its insane DPM and uh, basically spots me about the same distance away. And the Cossack can out DPM me and out spot me. So I really want to avoid getting into a, a long engaged uh, duel with any of those destroyers. So I like to go off to sea, where I'm not going to get uh, pinned down by a Palmer or a Hipper and spotted in front of their Z-46 Kitakaze or Cossack. And I want to go and try and engage a destroyer here at sea, maybe, and get uh, some early trades on them. I end up going over there with uh, my friendly Z-46. While the Osterjotland is very uh, upset at us both going over to sea and leaving him alone at A and B. Z-46 sends his torps, it looks like, to the southwestern portion of the cap, so I decided to put my uh, torps more towards the southeastern portion of the cap and get as much coverage as we can and possibly uh, get a lucky hit on an incoming enemy destroyer. Uh, Z-46 in front of me, so I don't mind being a little aggressive here, and the Kitakaze gets spotted. We're going to hold off firing on him until we figure out what he's doing. He gets focused on the Z-46, so that's when I decide to start chipping in, because he's not likely to uh, switch targets to me quite as easily. Z46 has also popped his smoke and I'm able to run straight into it here and go dark after we get some decent trades on that Kitakaze. So he tries blind firing me in smoke here and uh, doesn't hit me at all but I need to be aware that he is likely sending torps into this smoke screen here. Now the Z46 popped his Hydra before he came across the top of the cap here and he's close enough that he's going to be able to detect his, the torps for me uh, far enough away that I will be able to dodge him. I'm also going to make myself as skinny as I can here uh, towards where the, Z, or the Kitakaze will be sending those torps and I'll be able to dodge him and I'm going to be getting out of here in a couple seconds anyway, because we're going to cap it. But knowing that he had used his uh, hydroacoustic search already, I am able to save mine for a more advantageous time to me. There's no sense using both of them at the same time, so paying attention to what your, uh, your teammates are doing with their consumables uh, definitely can help you out. So, sure enough, the Kitakaze tore up the smoke. I had more than enough uh, notice to be able to find a nice gap to stay in between as I leave the cap. So, the torpedoes coming from A and B make me think that the enemy destroyer that launched those torps, and it could be either the Z-46 or the Cossack, because it is a set of four, and it turns out to be the Z, He's obviously thinking about coming over to sea, so I want to go and intercept him and try and keep him honest and do as much damage as we can to him. Uh, Kitakaze Torps are coming here, but I'm able to get behind this island, and me and the Palmer are both going to escape those Torps as they all crash harmlessly into the island. So the Z-46 has smoked up here, and he's kind of in line for my Torps, but they're going to be a little bit too far to the right, unfortunately. So, I am going to try and run him down. The Kitakaze is way back behind uh, the C cap and isn't going to be able to help the Z out at all. So, I'm going to be able to run into the smoke here and hydro him. Now, I might get spotted mutually by his hydro, but he doesn't have his up. He's stuck in the smoke screen and I've got him lit here. And now we're just going to pummel him between me and my team that is pushing through C here. So, Z-46 sends torps on a very good line for me, and I've got to back out away from this island to be able to dodge them here. As he comes out of his smoke, but uh, we're able to keep him lit as he kind of makes a circle into the A and B cap. we got to try and get rid of him here before he gets around the island, and uh, 
He is lit a bit by my battleships there, so I do smoke up to avoid taking too much damage here as he's on fire. And we get him down to 100 HP, and he finally dies to the fire from the Z-46. So, we're up one ship, we have one cap, and now the A and B cap are open to us. So there, Alabama has actually managed to push up uh, along this island here, to the point where I've got to go out a little further away from him to cross over here. And I'm going to dump both sets of my tarps here quick before I go around the corner. He's going to spot me briefly, but not enough to get some guns on me. Unfortunately, his position there means that I'm not going to be able to cap B and A. I'm only going to be able to cap A because that's the only port I can stay behind the island and avoid being spotted by him. So I do get the one torpedo hit on him and it looks like the Z-46 is able to use my smoke uh, to harass him a little bit here as I get into the A cap here and start to flip it for my team. I am concerned about where the Kitakaze is and what he might be doing and I do not want to get caught flat footed by him steaming into the cap while I sit here. And so I'm going to position myself so that I can get out of the cap uh, as quickly as possible and out the north side where it's as safe as possible. I get spotted briefly by the Alabama making some turns here, but I managed to dodge his uh, secondary shells here. And uh, we're going to just sit here until we finish capping it. So we finally managed to flip the cap here. Um, I need to be careful on when I exit the cap to make sure I don't get spotted too much by the Alabama here. Obviously the smoke behind the Alabama is from the Kitakaze, so we kind of know where he is too. But I don't want to take much damage, so we're going to try and back into the island and then go out straight from the cap. But I do want to spot the Alabama briefly as well. On the west flank, my Oster Jotland is very damaged. However, their Cossack doesn't have much health left either. Alabama gets spotted. He's backing in behind that island, so we're going to dump both sets of torps there. He, I'm thinking he might come start coming forward again. Um, so I put one directly on him and then one to uh, go where he might move forward. Kitakaze comes into the cap. He is kind of occupied with the Z-46, it looks like. And so I'm able to smoke up here and uh, get some damage here. This is what I like to call free damage. Um, he's not able to shoot back effectively. He's perma-spotted. He knows where I am. There's nothing to be lost by not shooting at him. So try and get as much damage as you can in these kind of situations because it might help you out in the long run. So it looks like I'm going to connect with a couple of torpedoes on the Alabama as the Kitakaze finally uses his smoke to uh, escape any more damage and ducks out of the A cap. I'm going to try and set a fire on the Alabama here. He obviously just flooded, he obviously DCP'd that. So a perma fire here will definitely help in the long run. However, the Kitakaze just went across the bottom of the cap here, so I also need to be concerned about uh, torpedoes. However, I still have my Hydro up, and that's going to save me from torpedoes if I need to. So we're going to flood the Kitakaze smoke with uh, torpedoes, and the C-46 is doing the same thing at the same time, so hopefully we catch him with some torpedoes there as he is just sitting there farming away on our uh, Lenin. Thankfully, nobody saw what just happened there, and nobody will see it in the future. I don't know what there was to even see there, but nobody will, nobody will notice. Anyways, I managed to extract myself from that island, and we're going to start trying to back into B. Um, the hipper is way down to the south, and there's nothing here that's going to be able to spot me aside from the Cossack and the Kitakaze here. I want to be a little bit cautious here, so I kind of wait and as the Alabama goes down and evens the ships up, I decided to start backing into the B cap here. We're a little bit down on points here, and uh, 
their Lepanto is charging into our Lennon as I dodged Kitakaze Torps that I kind of figured were coming here. And there he is heading off towards the sea cap. Lepanto kills our Lennon and they now are going to be able to dominate C. And I know that the Cossack is now here. He is obviously on the west side of those islands here. And I do know that he is super low. So I want to try and kill him because I think that gives us the best chance of winning here. As the Iowa and the Z-46 are trying to head over top of C and maybe kill the Lepanto. So I turn myself around to uh, try and chase down this Cossack here and he manages to back around the corner and get me spotted right when I don't really want to be spotted here. However, get the guns around on him, get in a decent solid uh, salvo with three pens there and now we need to run after him. He's smoking up. I don't think he is going to be stupid enough to stay there in his smoke and allow me to just run into him. Even if he has his Hydra ready to go, um, at this range, I'm going to be able to get enough pens on him to uh, finish him off. And my Hydra is coming up anyways. So the Torps go past me, so I know he's got nothing uh, to keep me from running straight at him. So we start that. My Hydra is ready to go. So we activate it and find that, yes, he is running as fast as possible. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get around this island in time to uh, gun him down. But uh, it's a fairly long island, and I think I'm going to be able to make it around. At this point in time, um, seeing that the Iowa has managed to throw his ship away and the Z-46 is engaged in a duel with uh, a Kitakaze and a Lepanto, I have decided that this is now full star save time, and I need to do whatever I can. I mean, I've got some caps, and I've got decent amount of damage, but is it enough to save my star? You are never sure, so you want to make sure you're able to do as much as possible, and best thing I can do is kill a destroyer. So we're going to work on that first. We're going to get rid of this Cossack, and... Now we're going to head across the north side here as the Z-46 has now died and that had put me in a 1v4. I've only got one cap. I'm down by 350 points. They win in a minute 40. I've got to try and find something, anything that I can get damage on to try and ensure the saving of my star. So the Lepanto was steaming up to the north here through that channel. I'm thinking my best bet is to find him and try and whittle him down. I don't realize at this point how low he actually was until I spot him. He's at 2,000 HP and I get one salvo off as he smokes up. But you know what? This one salvo is enough because it starts a fire and the Z-46 had already had a fire on him that he had DCP'd and he dies because he cannot repair that fire. Now. I have 9k HP. I know how much health this Kitakaze had as he steams straight forward into me and starts engaging me in this duel here. The chances of me winning this duel, I only had a 2k uh, HP lead on him and he's got a lot more DPM than me. However, I do have a smoke and I'm able to smoke up and uh, cover myself for a little bit and get some uh, blind hits on him. I then uh, steam out of my smoke and he is looking behind me and I'm gonna get a little bit of a jump on him here and finish him off here before he is able to kill me. That leaves me on 1600 health as the hipper finally decides to chime in and knocks me down to 805 HP. This was a 1v4, it is now 1v1. However, I have no advantage as I have under 1000 HP the enemy hipper has 12,000 HP and they win in a minute and a half. However, as I'm going across, I realize I, there's no way I win this game by not shooting. So I start shooting at the hipper as I realize his turrets are pointed away from me. And it's at this point, I realize his turrets don't move. And he locked his rudder and beached himself there. I don't know whether his mom told him to go to bed or he disconnected or he thought it was a sure win. But he goes AFK here. And I'm able to get a fire on him. And I'm just starting to whittle him down. And with 20 seconds on the board. I managed to pull off this 
inconceivable 1v4 and turn it into a win that I started off trying to save my star. Anyways, I hope that you guys all found that epic comeback win as exciting and fun as I did when I was playing it. Um, if you want to catch any more of my videos, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitch as I usually stream regularly there a couple times a week. Anyways, you guys have a great day and we'll catch you next time.